Okay, folks, I thought I was going to have a little more trouble with this bucket. And uh, last night, late last night, while my son was here, I uh, picked it up a little bit with the forklift and I took my hammer and I just hit it on each side and it dropped right out. Uh, I just lifted this a couple inches off the ground. And uh, so, anyway, come out good. Uh, we got places that didn't, you know, it didn't pack in good, which is normal, you know, same way as my last one. Uh, won't hurt a thing. They're not very deep. I mean, it's just little pores and stuff, but uh, good for me. I mean, I'm good to go. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to lay this, uh, I'm going to lay this four inch piece in the bottom and then we'll set the bucket back in and uh, there'll be a little bit of a gap but not much and I'm going to go ahead and fill it to the top and go ahead and get our lid filled and we will be done with all the pouring thank goodness and uh, I got my, all my blocks out here these are these like I said these are good enough these are just to set the uh, crucible on so. And, uh, and I just poured that in the bucket and poured it back out. I guess I could set it on it if I needed to, but, but it's moving right along and I'm gonna get to work on this burner. Uh, just put some parts together. I got some old torches and stuff in there. All I need is a valve. I like to have a valve down here to turn it on and off. And like I said, uh, uh, sort of a pencil tip with a, a uh, 30 or 35 thousandths MIG tip in the end of it. And just hook to the hose going to my regulator. I can regulate it from there. And then uh, with a valve down here, I can turn it on and off. And uh, works out really good. So burner won't, you know, there's not that much to it. It's not that big a deal. And I, when I do the, the insert where I put the burner in, I like to be able to slide the burner in and out. And that sort of changes, you know, the, the airflow going in and how much it's pulling. And uh, seems to work really good, you know, when you, when you play with it a little bit. But... But we'll get that figured out today and well hopefully i don't get a bunch of toes anyway uh just got back off one so i uh, haven't been able to work on anything yet but we'll get the lid done all right okay folks i've got a uh got this through together let's see a 30 thousandths make tip because that's all i had and uh i've just got it hooked up now i've got a one-way check valve in here uh don't want to take any chances on it back flowing in that's what osha makes you have on on stuff i'm gonna try we got a little wind but uh, i don't have a valve on it so i'm gonna have to open it up from over the other side so uh i'll open it just a little bit see if we can get it to light and we'll turn it up maybe we won't blow ourselves up okay got just a little bit of a fire there looks like we want but it's there. A little bit out to the side. Yeah, I think that's going to work fine once we get it in the burner. You see, it's the way it's burning here, I've got a leak where my MIG tip goes in. Now, the reason it's leaking is because I haven't put any uh, thread tape on anything. I've just got it stuck together, but this is going to work fine. Once it's inside of that hole and you're controlling the airflow better and you don't have any wind out here, it'll actually burn really well. So that's all it takes just to nuggle a bunch together. We'll get this leak fixed here. All right, it's only it's burning, but it's uh, so bright out here you can't see any fire. But uh, I'll show you how I do it or how I build it. Okay, folks, here's what we've got. Uh, very simple, probably very une unefficient, but you know, that's not what I'm worried about. So, never had any trouble before with this setup. Uh, this is something that I had designed and made on my last uh, smelter. And all this is a piece of pipe, two pieces of welding rod, 
and then a little union there, just something that you can slide this pipe through. And uh, on my other one, it was a, a little different setup because I could slide it in and out and adjust it. But this one here, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, but uh, but it's good enough to uh, to work. Uh, and then this will actually slide right into there. But now it's gonna be uh, a lot shorter pipe. But the hotter that this gets, the better it burns. And uh, so the last time I built, I used thin stuff. And over the, the years, I'd have to replace it probably a couple times a year. This is a lot thicker. I'm gonna try it and see how it does. Uh, I was using about like header tubing before. This is schedule 40. And uh, we'll try it. And you know, there's nothing special here. Uh, I ended up soldering this because I didn't, the, the threads wasn't quite right on it, so, and it looked like it had been soldered once before, so I just re-soldered that, well, that didn't go to that, but somebody had soldered this in, which goes into an old torch, into the torch, so, uh, soldered that, she brought it to a valve, and went on and brought it down, and this is just some fittings I had to be able to get down to uh, that smaller pipe, that's uh, eighth inch, I believe is what it is, and then, uh, if you get eighth inch, these are Lincoln tips, uh, coarse thread, tw uh, quarter inch 20, which is coarse thread for quarter, uh, screwed right in, just tapped it, screwed it in, and works out real good. This is 30, I think I used 35 on my last one, so we'll try it and see what it does. And I won't go buy a 30, I'll just drill it out a little bit bigger. And, uh, you know, it seems to work good, and I mean, it wasn't that bad on propane. I didn't mind it. If you're going to use a smelter every day, you know, if you're in the business or something like that, you know, you're definitely not going to want this set up. You know, maybe something on diesel or something like that, but no more than I plan to use one or will be using one, you know, this will work out just fine. So, anyway, all right. All we really got to do now is, uh, might do something to tighten this up just a little bit in there. Uh, no problem. And cut this where we need it and go ahead and finish our pour okay folks we're moving right along we've uh we've got it everything in the uh the actual uh, furnace now just got to do the lid and get at it okay folks we've got uh we've got everything done here uh went ahead and mixed up some uh fire clay and portland cement together and actually uh, filled all my little voids and stuff like that inside. I think it's gonna I mean it'll be fine And it don't matter if it flakes off even which I don't think it's going to but if it does it does not a big deal uh, Let me see we've got The lid done. We're just waiting on it to set up enough to sit on there once we get it on there I'm gonna start doing the hinge on it Okay, we're really getting on the rush now uh, As you can see I welded a welded a pipe down in, and I slid another pipe down in it. And this goes over it. It's a little bit loose, but I'm gonna make sure that the, it's all the way in. I may stick some grease in it. Uh, what I did was, uh, well, I'm gonna lay the door, the top on it and mount the top into here. And then I'll brace it from here at the top down to the far side. And if this works like I'm hoping, if I put a handle on it, when I go to turn it, it should actually start raising it. If I put this in the right spot, it should start raising it. And then I put a little flat spot on this one. So when I get it around, it should sit right there. Be raised up, bring it back down. Should come right into place. We'll see how it works out. Uh, don't know. Okay, folks. I wanted to uh, I wanted this to be the last video, but my uh, 
my lid's not hardening it up fast enough to be able to get it on there so we're gonna do one more just a short one maybe tomorrow to finish this thing up but but there's the burner working good uh, good enough for me and uh, we'll uh, get back on it and finish up tomorrow appreciate everybody watching bye